Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be creating a mani using products from Nailboo. Nailboo was kind enough to send over this kit and I'm really excited to try it out. So we're going to be doing two different dip powders and then we're going to do the dip liquids as well. So this first color here is called Fur Real and it is such a beautiful teal color. It's like the perfect fall peacock teal. Love it so much. And then this one right here. Now when I open it up, you're probably like, that is the same teal, but it's not. This is called Mystery Mood and it's called Mystery for a reason because it is a super fun thermal and check out that teal. So it's darker than for real and it has some shimmer in it and it's a thermal changer and I'm not going to show you what the thermal changer looks like yet. We're going to have to wait to see when I'm dipping because it is super fun and pretty. So I think these colors go really well together and there's just something about the thermal. And then here are what the dip bottles liquids look like. I really like the matte black bottle and then there is your brush and then we have the activator here as well and then each bottle also has a really nice stopper in there and then we have the dip top coat so there's three different liquids total you can get a brush saver that is sold individually on the website as well and then here is what the clear powder looks like so all the dip powders have that really nice seal on there I really like that so you're gonna get that with each of your dip powders this is called the build powder and this is your clear powder that you could use to clear encapsulate or you could put a layer on your nail to build up the strength before you go ahead and start dipping so we're gonna start out by using mystery Mo mood and as you can see I went ahead and stirred that first you definitely want to stir your dip powders before using them but if you are using a thermal or temperature changing glow, any special kind of dip powder like that, you really want to make sure that you're stirring it so you get the full effect. So look at, you could already see that fun thermal changing. It is awesome. And I think this is the funnest thermal I used in a while because the colors, I have not seen a thermal that changes like this. So we will build up this pigment throughout the dipping process, but I really even like it just like with that one dip. It's super pretty and elegant. It's more of like a sheer French mani. So that's the fun part of having a thermal dip powder is you can get create like a French mani with little to no effort just by dipping into the powder. So that's something to keep in mind if you do like that French manicure look, but you don't want to go through the hassle of creating that with dip powder. A thermal dip powder is really good for that. All right, so we're going to dive into this dipping process and then I'll pop back in in a few moments.
All right, so we're wrapping up that second layer of dip. Now you could totally leave the mani as is and just do two layers of dip, or you can do a third layer. It's totally up to you on preference. The powders are laying super thin and not bulky at all. And that has to do with two things, the powders and the dip liquids, because if you take your time and apply thin layers of dip liquid, it will help reduce the bulk of your nail. I really wanted to show you here what the nail looks like when you do a third layer of the thermal dip. So that's what I'm showing you here only. And then voila, we're going to brush it off. And how pretty is that thermal? I love it so much. So, and look at, you can see it's not bulky at all. It's really thin still. So I really do enjoy that about these dip liquids. They were really easy to use and really easy to control the amount that you're getting, especially because there's that stopper in the bottle. So right now we're going to go ahead and apply dip base to the nails and then we're going to go ahead and clear encapsulate each nail to help protect those pigments and glitters when we are filing and buffing. Now if you are using a solid color, you can skip this part, but I prefer to always do a layer of clear to just to make sure I'm not wrecking those pigments or disturbing them. It's totally optional, but since there is a shimmer in this dip powder for mystery mood, I want to make sure that I'm not going to cut into any of those glitters or remove any of them during filing and buffing. So that's what we're doing here. So for the liquids, I just wanted to touch base again. I'm not having any staining on the brush either when I am going back into the uh, for real color. So the nail that I'm cleaning the cuticle line right there, that beautiful dark teal. When I am going in with that second layer of dip and when we're going in with the clear, I'm not picking up any of that dip pigment powder onto that brush. And you will know if you are getting it on that brush because that brush is clear. It's not a, like a black brush, but I'm not picking up any of that pigment. So that's super awesome because I'm not contaminating my liquids. Another thing when you are applying your dip base, when you are applying your second layer and your clear powder, Another way to prevent contamination with your dip liquids is to wipe off your brush on a paper towel, just swipe it before you go ahead and put it in the jar. That will also help prevent contamination of your dip liquids. All right, so we're gonna get back into this mani process and I'll pop back in at the end with my final thoughts.
All right, we're just wrapping up this mani here with our final layer of top coat. And I really like how this top coat dried. It has a really nice shine to it. And the dip liquids are really awesome. They're little to no scent at all. I did not have any issues with any like dip flu symptoms or anything like that. And how pretty is this thermal? It's like a rosewood pink with teal. I just think these colors are so pretty and they go really well together. Now, if these colors aren't your cup of tea, don't worry, Nail Boo has tons of other colors to offer and they have some more fun thermals, which I definitely need in my collection. So I will go ahead and link everything we use in today's video in the description box below. If you tried Nail Boo, let me know in the description box below as well and what your favorite colors are so I can check them out. Definitely consider subscribing and I'll see you in tomorrow's upload. Bye.